Hi everyone, welcome to Python Osmosis, episode 22, the screencast where we learn the keys and values of Python. I'm Ryan Shea, and in this episode we'll be talking about dictionaries. So we've talked about lists, we've talked about tuples. These are indexed based off of a number, a 1, a 2, a 3. Um, there's another type in Python that can be indexed based off of whatever immutable type that you'd like. Um, for example, a string. In other languages, this is known as a hash or an associative array. Uh, let's take a look at an example. So we'll create one called tell equals, and you use the curly braces in order to define a, a dictionary. Specify the key. I'm using a string, jack, 4098. And this is a list-like object, so I'm going to use comma and sape and I use a full colon in between the key and the value. Close that off with the curly brace. The type is a dictionary. Print it out. Jack and save. If I want to assign a value to, or actually if I want to access a value within this list, much like I would in a normal list, I use the square brackets but in this case I'm going to just use the the key jack and it tells me jack's number is is 4098 if I want to delete an item from the list I can just use del and if I want to assign a value well actually so del is gone so if I want to say tell of Guido equals 4127. Now I have Guido and Jack. Probably the most important method that you'll use in a dictionary is keys. Keys is going to give you a list of all of the keys that are within uh, a dictionary. So in this case, Jack and Guido are the items, the, the keys that are part of that dictionary. And you can do conditional statements like Guido in tell. Now notice, I didn't say Guido in tell.keys. Python just did the right thing. It knew that I meant the keys. Is Guido in there? And that came back as true. Another way of creating a dictionary is using dict. So I could say dict open paren, call that function. Uh, create square brackets, and then I can give this a list of tuples. So, sape4139, okay, that's one tuple, comma separated, guido4127, that's another tuple, Jack 4098. Okay, and that's the last tuple. Square that off and close the call to dict. And you see what came back curly braces, indicating that that is a dictionary. This is fairly useful because you can use it with a list comprehension. For example, I can just say dict, uh, open, open up the dict function, square bracket. Curly x x squared. If you remember this from our list comprehension episode, for x in two four six. Okay, so we're going to loop through the uh, the tuple two four six, assigning x, and we're going to return x and x squared. The dict function is expecting a list of tuples coming back, and it's going to create a dictionary based off of that. So we'll see curly braces indeed. There's the key is 2, the value is 4, the key is 4, the value is 16. That's all for now. This screencast is directly inspired by the official Python tutorial by Guido Van Rossum at python.org.